Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football late Tuesday night. Some massive news for Mario Cristobal, the Miami Hurricane fans coming out of the recruiting trail. Four-star wide receiver Joshua Moore flipping his commitment from the Florida Gators to the Miami Hurricanes. And I think where you want to start is this is a conversation we had in the months of August and July. If this Miami Hurricanes team was as good as we thought they were going to be heading into 2024, you could see Miami get really hot on the recruiting trail over the next couple of months. Now, they're making it happen on the football field. I think a lot of Miami fans are really excited about what we might see on the recruiting trail come signing day period in early December. You look at how Mario Cristobal has recruited up until this point to the Miami for the Miami Hurricanes. It's been largely kind of selling the vision of what Miami looks like when they're dominating, but you haven't really seen it yet. I think you're starting to see that vision kind of come to fruition on the football field. You look at the amount of talent that Miami might be sending to the NFL draft, specifically on the offensive side of the football, most notably Cam Ward, ton of offensive linemen, guys like Xavier Estrepo, Isaiah Horton. I think it could be a really fun next couple of months for this Miami Hurricanes team, not only on the football field, but also on the recruiting trail come the month of December. Now you look at Joshua Moore, I'll just say, I kind of start with this. Malachi Tony decommitted from Miami about a week ago. I think this is a straight up upgrade at the wide receiver position. And I think what Joshua Moore kind of reminds you of is a little bit more of a physically developed Isaiah Horton coming out of high school. You remember Isaiah Horton, kind of a linear, big-bodied wide receiver, but was kind of a beam pole coming out of high school. I believe he went 6'4", 190. You look at Joshua Moore, 6'4", 205. This kid is put together with some big-time ball skills, working vertically down the field. I think I see a lot of Isaiah Horton in this game, and I think for Miami Hurricane fans, looking at the development that we've seen Isaiah Horton have, I think Miami here, the Miami fans would be thrilled to have another Isaiah Horton on this football team for Miami and Joshua Moore fired up to get into this one. Now, before we do, and as always to the Miami hurricane fans, you you all know, it's been a blast for me talking this program, not only on the football field, but going back to the summer months on the recruiting trail, y'all continue to show a ton of love to the boys. I can't thank y'all enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. I think it's going to be a real fun next couple of weeks and months for this program. And without further ado, Let's get into Joshua Moore now. I want to dive into that Isaiah Horton comp a little bit. You look at Isaiah Horton and say, one, the development that Isaiah has seen in terms of a route runner and a separator has been really nice to see because Isaiah Horton was primarily kind of that, you know, one trick pony. I'm a big body that can work vertically down the field, but has really well rounded his game to be, I think, the all around wide receiver two for the Miami Hurricanes up until this point in 2024. I think if you're a Miami Hurricanes fan, that's kind of the track you want to see Joshua Moore take within this program. And you look at Joshua Moore, he's a different kind of wide receiver than someone like JoJo Trader from the 2024 class. He's not as twitchy. He's not as smooth of a mover. But what you get with Joshua Moore is 6'4", 205. This kid is almost built like a tight end. He's going to continue to be a little bit more physically developed. But you take a look at that vertical, big body boundary wide receiver. That's kind of what Joshua Moore is. And I think he's going to excel in the red zone, very similar to how Isaiah Horton excels. But I think most importantly, he's one of those wide receivers that if you want to just throw him up a football and make a 50-50 ball more like a 70-30 ball, like that's kind of Joshua Moore's game. You get into the film. The film is the film's a blast to watch. And you take a look at what he brings to the table. I think it starts with, you know, not only the size that he has. But the body control and coordination, that's something that you don't always talk about. I think we always talk about just, you know, height, weight, speed, like what, how big are you and how fast are you? You look at Joshua Moore and say, when you start diving into the film, this kid's a fluid, fluid athlete that is supremely coordinated. And this is, this is arguably one of the more impressive catches that you can't teach this. And I think what's even more impressive than this catch or just as impressive, like staying on your feet and then go finish in this play. Like I think Joshua Moore, you combine that size with how fluid and athletic this kid is. That's what excites you the most about Joshua Moore. And again, hey, we're just going to work vertically down the field. Throw him up these kind of footballs because his ability to track and play the football in the air, the hand fight. I mean, you go back and look at this play, like sneaky hand fighting. This is what you want to see. I think he's that vertical, deeper third wide receiver that Miami's getting with Isaiah Horton 
that now you're going to potentially get with a guy like Joshua Moore. Continue to work through the film. Again, what you see is we're ta- we're taking this all day. <laughs> we're ta- we're taking this every single day of the week. He is so comfortable going up and making plays at the highest point. I- I'm a really big fan of Joshua Moore. It's in my opinion really hard to find these kind of wide receivers that are this big, this athletic, and I think this coordinated. Joshua Moore has that. They kind of like a basketball player. You know what I mean? Like you, you can see we need a little bit of work in terms of a route running, creating separation separation that ain't, ain't that important with this kid because look at his ability to just box out the defender use his frame then excel after the catch there's some nice movement skills that you like and again you want to see him polish up the route running but man this kid with using that big physical frame whether it's working vertically whether it's working in the middle like here he just seems like a, a man amongst boys at the high school level really really impressive cat and i think this is a big commitment for miami because you look at that wide receiver class and say I wouldn't say Miami. I mean, obviously Miami wanted a guy like Jamie French, put a lot of effort into a guy like Jamie French and kind of left empty handed. Joshua Moore is a pivot wide receiver. (laughs) That's, that's a pretty nice get for Miami, but they were kind of thin on the wide receiver position. Now you look at and say, you bring in a guy like Joshua Moore, you have Dalen Upshaw committed, but Dalen Upshaw, I think is seriously looking at Auburn. So I think this is really big to get a cat like Joshua Moore in the fold. And, We'll see what Miami can do at the wide receiver position. I think that's a position that, you know, maybe recruits kind of soured on Miami because of what the passing attack and wide receiver play looked like over the last couple of years. You look at this offense with Cam Ward. I think my, I think these kids who are wide receivers in the high school trail are looking at Miami and saying, oh, oh that's what Shannon Dawson's offense looks like when he has a legitimate quarterback. I can go put up some numbers. I mean, you might have two or three guys that go for close to a thousand yards. Xavier Estrep was certainly going to guys like Isaiah Horton, potentially Jacoby George and Samuel Brown. This is becoming a, an offense that if you're an elite wide receiver in the state of Florida or across the country, you are looking at and saying, yeah, this suddenly becomes a, a destination spot. You know, I'm a Michigan fan. It, it's very hard for Michigan to recruit elite wide receivers because you look at our offense and say, like that, that ain't an offense that I think I can put up numbers on. I think there was a similar conversation maybe with a lot of my, with a lot of wide receivers dealing with Miami, where you looked at that offense and said, right, you're not really producing a ton of NFL talent. I don't know how productive I could be in this offense. That is completely flipped. Like the, if there's a, an offense that you want to go play for right now, it would probably be the Miami Hurricanes. So I would be really excited to see what Miami can do, not only at the wide receiver position, but just in general, because you look at this team and say, there's a lot of position groups and a lot of players that are really thriving for this football team in the 2024 season. We'll see how it finishes out. But again, I think the success on the field obviously is exciting. I think it's only going to help what Mario Cristobal is trying to do on the recruiting trail. We'll get out of there on that. And I appreciate you guys rocking with it. Late night recruiting episode. Nothing I like more doing. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you all later. Peace.